Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. And we're in Wittenberg, Germany right now. It's often called Lutherstadt Wittenberg, Luther's city, Wittenberg. And I'm with Jonathan Shaw, our executive for church relations for the Missouri Synod. And we're at the so-called Old Latin School. It's called that because this place was built just after Luther died in 1564 and it was used for the Latin high school for those men or boys who were moving on to the next level of university after their education here. Uh, we were able to purchase this building uh, a number of years ago for about $45,000 and due to the generosity of CPH and many donors and LCMS World Mission, LCMS World Relief and Human Care, and many, many others. We were able to renovate it and to use it continually since then. Uh, most recently, the building has been filled with Ukrainian refugees, and we have a wonderful Ukrainian pastor who's a Lutheran pastor taking care of that flock, teaching confirmation, baptizing children right here, and taking care of uh, even more Ukrainians even in Wittenberg and there are quite a few here. But this week we're here for something very special. There's a church relations conference uh, headed by the Missouri Synod among our church partners and Pastor Shaw tell us what's going on this week. Oh it's extremely exciting. Uh, th thank you President Harrison. We're gathering about uh, members of 40 of our sister churches and some of our other churches which are associated. We are an ultra pulpit fellowship with our sister churches and with these other associated churches we work toward uh, fellowship through theological education, theological dialogue and, and mercy programming. And we're here to consider confessional Lutheran leadership under the cross. We have about 10 uh, sessions and the idea is we are all committed confessional Lutherans and we want to grow stronger in that theology, especially because it requires cross-bearing in this day and age. So uh, it's awesome. We're coming here, footsteps of Martin Luther. His journey brought him to Wittenberg and now the journey of these confessional Lutheran presiding pastors is bringing them to Wittenberg so that we can be strengthened in our unity in God's word and in how we work together. It's exciting. It's really great to bring these partners here too and it's to this location rather than to come to the United States or go to many other locations of the world. So, And our Lutheran leaders from around the world love to see the Luther sites and to inform them. And they're all facing deep challenges, you know, not just those in the West, but heavily in the West. They're, they're facing the homosexual issues. All the woke issues are just heavy upon them. Uh, the Lutheran World Federation presses as hard as it possibly can on these churches to get them to adopt a woke agenda all the way through. And so getting together with them is such, uh, such an encouraging thing for all of us uh, when we stand together and confess Christ according to the scriptures and the confession. It's a privilege, and, and our, our themes in getting together, it's, you know, we talk about confessional Lutheran leadership, which all these pastors, presiding pastors and bishops, they, they feel the cross. But we have four different sub-themes. It's founded on the atonement of Christ. It's focused on word and sacrament. It's steadfast in a world of change. We have to address that change, and then finally, we want to make sure we can lead with administrative excellence. So those are the four sub-themes which are coming together and uh, these are ones which these church leaders want to investigate and grow in. So we're going to have a great week here. Uh, thank you to the Missouri Synod and those who make this whole event possible. Uh, several foundations and others who have given generously to this kind of work. It's so important for the health of the church globally and the, the ability of the church, the Lutheran church, to stand and confess the true gospel of Christ for the forgiveness of sins in a world that is awash with any other philosophy you can possibly imagine, including places like Wittenberg. So God bless you all, and uh, we'll keep you informed. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, President Harrison. <laughs>